Hello, my amazing Algebra Half students. This is Mrs. A, and I love math. Tonight, we're doing Lesson 74 in our Saxon Blue Books, and we're talking about rules for addition. Now, in a couple sections ago, we talked about um, adding signed numbers, and we demonstrated it on the number line. And then last section, we talked about visualizing signed numbers. And now we're going to move to rules, which are going to be very valuable because it gets very tedious if we have to do everything on a number line or with little visualization techniques. We need some good, strong rules so that we don't have to do all of that. And that's what this one is all about. Um, so the others were more kind of like helping you understand what's going on with sign numbers. And this is more utilitarian. How are we going to actually perform the operation quickly and efficiently and accurately every time? So we have two rules. When we are adding same sign numbers, so when we have the same sign, this is all for addition, same sign, add, take the common sign. That's it. Same sign, add, take the common sign. And we'll talk about that in a minute. If we have opposite signs, if one of them is negative and one of them is positive, we will subtract the absolute values and we will take the sign of the big guy. In other words, when we have two opposite sign numbers that are adding together, it's kind of like a tug of war where each one, remember when we were running on the number line, one was pulling to the left, one was pulling to the right. So the one that has the bigger absolute value is going to win the tug of war. So that is the one that's going to um, determine the sign of the number. So let's look at some of these before we get into our examples. So here, everything is twos and fives or the opposites. So let's think about these in light of these two rules. So 2 and 5 are the same sign. They're both positive. So we will add their absolute values. The absolute value you can think of, remember, is always positive. But the absolute value is the value of the number regardless of whether it's moving left or right. Okay, so it's basically take the sign off the number, and that would be the absolute value of the number. So we add the absolute values, which would give us 7. And then we take the common sign. Don't they have the same sign? And the same sign, each one of those has a positive. So our answer is going to be positive 7 or just 7. Then we move over here. And we have a negative 2 plus a negative 5, same sign. They're both negative. So we're going to add their absolute values. 2 plus 5 is 7. But we're going to take the common sign, and since they both have a negative sign, that is the sign they have in common. So we get a negative 7. All right, so here we have a positive 2, but a negative 5 being added together. So this is like a tug of war. Remember, if this is 0 here, um, the 2 is going to take 2 steps to the right, and then the 5, the negative 5, is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 five steps to the left and five is the big guy okay so he is going to pull the tug of war over to his side which is the negative side so the rule is so we don't have to do it on the number line every time when we have opposite signs we subtract the absolute value so we don't worry about the signs five take away two is three but we take the sign of the big guy the big guy was five so we're going to take his sign, which is negative, and the answer is negative 3. Over here, I switched them. Instead of a positive 2, we have a negative 2. Instead of a, po a negative 5, we have a positive 5. So I switched them around. Opposite signs. Subtract the absolute value. 5 take away 2 is 3. So we subtract because they're going different directions on the number line. So we're going to get the 3, but this time... The 5 is positive, and he's the big guy. So the answer is positive 3. And that's just a summary of what we're doing. Same sign add, take the common sign, 
Opposite sides subtract, take the sign of the big guy. Okay, so here we have our first example, and I'm going to do this just a little different than your book does. Your book rewrites the string of numbers every time. I tend to find that if I rewrite something too many times, I'm probably going to make an error. So I'm going to move left to right, just as your book does, but I'm not going to rewrite it every time. I'm just going to write the sum as I go from left to right. If you want to do it exactly the way the book is doing it, that's perfectly fine. They're both correct. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take just the first two numbers and we're going to add them together. So negative 4 and a positive 3 are opposite signs. We're always adding here, okay? So adding in between each number. Since they're opposite signs, we're going to subtract their absolute values. So 4 take away 3 is 1. But then we're going to take the sign of the big guy. And the big guy is 4, and his sign is negative. So he wins the tug of war and makes the number negative 1. Now I'm going to add these two together. Okay, so a negative 1 plus a negative 5. Now we have the same sign. So negative plus negative is going to be more negative, isn't it? So same sign, add the absolute value, 5 plus 1 is 6, and then we're going to take the common sign. They both have a negative, so my answer is negative 6. So now I'm going to take the negative 6, that is the result of all of this, and now I'm going to add it to the positive 7. So negative 6 and a positive 7 are opposite signs. So we will subtract their absolute values. 7 minus 6 is 1. And then the big guy is 7 because 7 is bigger than 6. And we're going to take his sign, which is positive, And the answer is positive 1. Isn't that easy? That's all we have to do. And your book is doing the same thing, but each time they're rewriting the rest of the problem. And I just kind of drew a little arrow. So now we're going to put these together, bring it down here. Now we're going to put those together, bring it down here. So that would be fine with me in my class because I would let my students do that instead of write the whole thing over and over again. But just be clear and neat about your work. All right. And always work left to right. Um, later on, it won't be quite as important that you go left to right uh, because addition is commutative. That means it doesn't matter which order we do it in. But for right now, just to train your brain, let's move left to right. So now we have five numbers to add together. And notice they're all added. We're going to talk about subtraction later. But right now we're adding signed numbers only. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to take the first two numbers and work left to right. So I'm going to take a negative 4 and a positive 3. And since they're opposite signs, I'm going to subtract. 4 take away 3 is 1. And that's because they're pulling in opposite directions on the number line. And then I take the sign of the big guy. The 4 is bigger than the 3. He has a stronger pull on the tug of war. So my, so my sign is going to be negative. And then we're going to take the negative 1 and we're going to go and connect it over here. We're going to add it to the negative 2. Negative 1 and negative 2 are the same sign. Same sign, add. So we're going to add the 2 and the 1 and get a 3. And we take the common sign. They're both negative, so we get a negative 3. So now I'm going to take that one and take it to the next one. All right, so I'm just bringing this to the next one because this one is the sum of everything before it. So now a negative 3 and a negative 6, same sign add. 6 and 3 is 9. Take the common sign, which is negative. So now I'm going to take the negative 9 and the positive 5. Now, the 5 doesn't have a sign, but we know if it's no sign, it's positive. So we can have the sign like we did here, or we can have it without a sign, but both of those are positive. So negative 9, positive 5, opposite sign, subtract, 9 minus 5 is 4, take the sign of the big guy, 
9 is bigger than 5, so he pulls harder, and he wins the tug of war and makes the number a negative 4, and that is the sum of all of those numbers. Okay, here is your first practice problem, and it's pretty short because there are only four numbers. So I want you to write them down on your board, make sure that you copy it all correctly, and pause your video. Go do it yourself. Okay, hopefully you did that. So we're gonna take the first two numbers working left to right, and they are the same sign. Same sign, add, four plus three is seven. Take the common sign, it's negative seven. So then I'm gonna take the negative seven and add it to the next number, which is a positive two. So now, negative and positive, opposite sign. Opposite sign subtract, seven minus two is five. But take the sign of the big guy, seven is bigger than two. I have to take his sign because he is pulling harder. Negative five and a negative five. So I'm going to this one now. Negative five and a negative five, same sign. Same sign, add. Five and five is 10. Take the common sign, negative. And we're at the end of the road. So that is my answer. Did you get it? Did you get it right? Okay, so this one also only has four um, items that we need to add together. And here we go. First two, opposite sign. Opposite sign subtract. 13 take away 8 is 5. Remember, absolute values is what we're subtracting. That means the sign doesn't matter. They're pulling in opposite directions, so that's why we subtract them. 5, but we take the sign of the greater, which is positive. So that's a positive 5. And then the positive 5 goes over here to the next number. Positive 5 and negative 5 is going to, when we add them, they're opposite signs, so we subtract. What's 5 minus 5? Zero. Okay, so now it doesn't matter which sign because zero is zero. It doesn't have a sign, right? So then zero is going to add to a negative 8. Any number plus zero is the same number. So we get a negative 8, and the answer is negative 8. Okay, this is our next to last one, and there are five here. So we take the first two, and three and negative eight are opposite signs. Opposite signs subtract, eight take away three is five. Take the sign of the big guy, which is negative. Negative five adds to negative nine. They are the same sign. Same sign, add. Nine plus five is 14. Take the sign they have in common. Now, negative 14 goes to 2. 2 is positive, 14 is negative, opposite sign subtract, 14 take away 2 is 12, take the sign of the big guy. The big guy is negative. Take the negative 12, add it to the negative 4, negative 12 and negative 4, same sign, add, 12 plus 4 is 16, take the common sign, the common sign is negative, there we have our answer. As you practice it, it's going to become more and more fun. Now, a fun thing to do is check your work by getting out a number line and doing the same problem on your number line and seeing if you don't wind up at negative 16. So basically, if I were going to do it on the number line, I'd start at zero and then I'd move three steps to the right. And then from that point, I would move eight steps to the left. And then from that point, I would move nine steps further to the left. And then two steps to the right. And then four steps to the left from there. See if you don't end up on negative 16. It's fun to check it with the number line, but it's nice not to have to do it on the number line all the time. The rule makes it very fast, doesn't it? All right, so here is our last practice problem. Starting at the left, I take the first two opposite signs. So I'm going to subtract. 8 minus 5 is 3, and I take the sign of the big guy. The big guy is positive, 
So I get a positive 3. I take that over here to the next one. Positive 3 and 9 is going to be since the same sign. Remember, even though that doesn't have a sign, it's positive. Same sign. Add 9 plus 3 is 12. Take the common sign. Positive. I take that to the next number. But now these are opposite signs. Plus and minus, opposite signs, subtract. 12, take away 5 is 7. But they take the sign of the big guy because he wins the tug of war. So it is a positive 7. 7 goes to negative 7. 7 plus negative 7, opposite sign, subtract. 7 take away 7 is 0. And 0 has no sign. And 0 is our final answer. And that was the end of our lesson 74. And that was a zippy little lesson, wasn't it? It was a lot of fun, and it was a quick one also. So, we're done. And this is Mrs. A, and may God bless your day.